Okay guys, we are now back at the top. No time to slow down, no time to rest. It's time for another go. What's going on guys, it's Nate Cinderace here and welcome back to another video. For this video, we're gonna be doing episode 29 of the Pokemon St Stadium playthrough. I nearly said something else <laughs> in the last episode. We fought and took on Giovanni's gym timber to finally win. Why I say finally? Because one of the trainers was a Zapdos that gave us quite a bit of a hard time. So yeah, needless to say, I'm relieved that we got past that obstacle only to get faced with another one in Giovanni. But that's behind us now, quite literally because, you know, the arrow. And I can see there's Venusaur from was episode 8 or 9. <laughs> yeah, that Venusaur is always there. It's a bit of a... I've always wondered why Venusaur was just sitting there. But, whatever. On to the Elite Four. Lorelei, Bruno, Agatha, Lads, and the Champion. Like I said, I tried to do this episode before and we got destroyed. So here we go. Slowbro, Mr. Mime, Lapras, Jolteon, Art, uh, Moltres and Hitmonlee and I have noticed we have quite, let me see, there's Hitmonlee, Jolteon, uh, Slowbro, Lapras, yeah four of these Pokemon are registered in between the other two teams, so that's pretty weird. Not to mention we've got another legendary bird in Moltres. Wow! That's uh, quite a coincidence. But it just goes to show which Pokemon are probably best for these jobs. In this case, Jolteon should be the star. We'll bring Moltres for safety reasons and... Last time I brought Hitmonlee who got bodied by that Cloyster. So we'll bring Mr. Mime, a special attacker. There's that Art Kuno right off the bat. She started off with Starmie last time. The last time we got so lucky because Jolteon got a Thunder and it was a crit and it one hit killed Art Kuno. So we're just lucky with that didn't um, land, but still. We also got hit by by it was Thunder Wave. That was it. Thunder Wave from Starmie. So we had a paralyzed Jolty on. Wiggly tough. Let's her, let ourselves use toxic. So hopefully you're all having a good day so far. Today has been not bad for me, anyways. Just really try to get this episode recorded. And then tomorrow, I have more episodes to record. <laughs> For not just this series, but also Pokemon Violet, which we are getting on the way. We're now on the Teal Mask. So, that was a good hit. The poison will help. Yeah, this is turning out a lot better. The last time I fought her, she had Starmie, Articuno, Cloyster. That was such a shame. Jolteon was paralyzed, had low health. The Cloyster moved first, obviously because of paralysis. We couldn't take advantage of Cloyster's low special stat. There's a difference in the number of reserve Pokemon. Starmie. We need to be careful here. Oh, yeah, that happened the last time too. It basically hung on by a thread. So we got Mr. Mine. Who will tank Starmie's attack? Moltres probably could. 
but I'm not so sure how much buy. So we're gonna try and use, I think, yeah, we'll use Seismic Toss for the guaranteed knockout. That's it, Mr. Mime. That turned out a lot better than last time. So there we go, we beat Lorelei. So next up is Bruno. On to the next one. Okay, him with his fighting types and rock types and a uh, poison type. <laughs> okay, so we'll bring Slowbro, Mr. Mime, that means that covers four of them. Hitmonlee could cover five, but Slowbro would be the only one that would be uncovered, so we'll have to bring... We'll bring Lapras. The next adversary is Bruno. He is one rugged opponent. Now, I am loving this, although it's too good to be true. He's going to switch. What? He's not? Okay. Why wouldn't he switch? Vigorous attack. Whoa, looks like a bad Pokemon choice. There we go. I mean Down already. Why not switch? This I'm confused. From the word go. Oh, <laughs> oh no, guys. That's disable. I don't really use that move often. What now? I hope it's psychic. If we can disable psychic, that will do so much good. Okay, you decide not to, so who knows? Hey guys, have you ever seen a slow roll move first? You have now. <laughs> That's the move I wanted to disable! Look at that! 20 damage! <laughs> no... Wow! Damage is damage, but wow. <laughs> no. Slow bro. You tried. At least you took down Rhydon. Oh, we didn't break! Oh no, we never brought Jolty on! I forgot! Note to self, if I have to do this again, I'm bringing Jolty on. <laughs> oh no! But in all seriousness though, we do have to get that special drop. What's that? That was weak. Neither one is conceding an ace. The commands are issued. What's this? Excellent! Now, hopefully, another Psychic will do enough damage to get it lower than 50, maybe? And then we can use Seismic Toss. There we go. Oh. There's something. That was a critical hit, so... Yeah, that's not something we want to deal with a second time. 
I'm assuming the next Pokemon must be Muck or something. If it's Machamp, we're in trouble. But Mr. Mime should be faster. Okay. Okay, we can't use Barrier, unfortunately. Yeah, we are fast though, so that should do a lot of damage. Yes! Yes! <laughs> wow! There we go, we've done it! Bruno, to me, probably to most people, is honestly the easiest Elite Four out of the four of them here. This is where, like, Laurel is quite hard for me. Agatha isn't too bad. Lance is just Lance. But whatever, we'll go on to Agatha right now. Here we go, the so-called ghost type user. Only one ghost type. She's more poison, but she's got Jinx and Alkazim. I think that must be a little reference Easter egg even to Koga and Sabrina's gyms who switch types. So Koga has a psychic and um, Sabrina has, I think it's a juggler who uses poison types. Uh, we're going to use Moltres, Mr. Mime, and Jolteon. Next up, Agatha, another daunting foe. What strategy will work against this wily lady? It's Gengar. Sky attack. Oh no. I don't know if it works this way in this game, but if we switch, I think because Gengar's taking the damage, it will still work. Either that or it is depending on which Pokemon's out. Mr. Mime, you've got to be faster. Uh oh. Oh, phew. it is depending on the Pokemon, just like normal. So basically, for those of you who don't know, Bind is a move which, let's just say I kept in Moltres, and it did that, let's say 85 damage, right? No, let's say 58 damage for make it easier. So basically, if I kept Moltres in, only did that 58 damage, and I didn't attack, but I still kept Moltres in, Gengar would hit back, as if it used counter, it would double that, so it would be 116 damage, instead of just 58, which is more health, more damage than the amount of health Jol uh, Moltres has, basically it's like counter. But because I switched to Mr. Mime, it didn't work because Mr. Mime never did that damage. It was Moltres. So it depends on if the Pokemon that did the damage is still out by the time they unleash the energy from Bide. I'm lucky that Gyarados was there. Unfortunately, with Alakazam, this could be a bit trickier. Special drop, that's that's horrible. Can we at least land a good hit? Let's do it. Neither one is 
If Moltres is faster, one sky attack should do the trick. If it's slower, I have no, I have no doubt that Moltres would indeed survive one psychic, but not two. We need to be faster for this plan to work. So we are in trouble here. This might be us. Baby. Oh no! No! Oh, we were so close. If that if that wasn't a crit, we would have we would have been done. Okay, I will be back when we have a winning round against Agatha. So I'll see you all shortly. Do. Must be using that because they are more jinx. Yeah. We can at least lower the special stats. Because using Moltres would itself be a bit risky. We've just got to see what jinx does. At least we know there's a Arbok. Blizzard. The the Every time I see an ice type move, I get I always look at that okay sign to see if it pops up as being frozen or not. Just in case, I'll use seismic toss. Do as much damage as we possibly can, because if this hits, we've lost Mr. Mime. They must have a scope lens. Is that for critical hits or for accuracy? No, that sounds about right. Scope lens. I could be wrong. If I am, I'm sorry. Blizzard, again. Please do not hit. Thank you. Fire the Knights. I'm quite sad Jinx didn't use Ice Slap. Jolteon, <laughs> we're in trouble. You need to be switched out now. Jolteon probably can't take a Hyper Beam, but we it's worth a shot, we need to try. Surf. Okay. Okay. Jinx, Gyarados, Arbok. We have a counter for each and every one of them. Oh my god. No! Why not use Hyper Beam? Jolteon, it is now or never. Come on, you can do this. Make me proud. You gotta love Jolteon. Jolteon is just... He or she does me proud. This whole series, Jolteon has been such a carrier. Now, if we could paralyze Arbok, that'd be terrific. 
but I'll be happy with damage anyways. A critical hit. That's why I love Jolteon. It's just so strong. So that was our second attempt actually. We're doing well so far, we only lost once. So next up is Lance, the strongest of the Elite Four, but not our toughest opponent. Or is he? We'll find out. Right now, as we are taking on... One Dragon. Not Dragon type? One dragon. Say what you want, Charizard's a dragon. You don't have to be a dragon to be a dragon type. You don't have to be a bird to be a flying type. Just look at Surfetched. Enough about that, I genuinely don't know who I can use. Uh, I'll bring Josie on again. Moltres just because Moltres performs really well. And I'll bring... Uh, I'll bring Lapras. I haven't really seen Lapras. We're coming down to the edge. Here's Lance, the last remaining master of the Elite Four. Snorlax, eh? We can try and paralyze you at least. Here's the first move. Okay. A massive hit, Amnesia, there we go. I think with one more thunder, crit or not, should be enough. Okay, I stand corrected. Jolteon, please don't. Lose. Yeah, Jolteon! Let's use double kick. Super effective and his defense isn't boosted, so please work. Oh Jolteon! Jolteon is just such a good Pokemon in Stadium! Okay, I'm for. Uh, I'm just gonna have to try. I, I can't afford to lose any of my Pokemon, really. All of them have the strengths and weaknesses against this team. And it's a real shame to lose Jolteon now. We could have really kept Jolteon going, but it's fine. Because the next two Pokemon are weak to electric. You know, I can't afford to lose them. And I certainly can't afford Moltres to be paralyzed. You're faster? I said I can't afford it to be paralyzed. I can't afford it, I said. As in, I don't want it to happen. Uh. <laughs> I think we might need to do this battle again. Lorelei and Bruno were fine. Agatha was our first defeat. And this is certainly going to be our next. Please, no. It's Thunderbolt, so it won't miss. Even if we're going to lose, because this is the first attempt, I will see this to the end. Every other time, unless we win, or it's a highlight, you basically won't see the rest because it would be me just trying to win. 
GG, we lost that one also. Okay guys, same as before, I will be back shortly when we win. Okay, attempt number four. We have lost to him three times because of Electabuzz. And the last time there was because of Arcanine. Now I do think we can safely say our team is Moltres, Jolteon, Mr. Mime. Because that was the team that performed the most efficiently out of this lot. I know how Snorlax, like, plays. So... The first part, the first part checks out. The second part will usually use Earthquake or Jolteon. Yeah. Even though Snorlax has a better special stat, we need to try and burn so that we can survive explode self destruct because we we didn't the last time. No self-destructing Snorlax what this time. No, not you. Use Thunder Wave or something. Something that will miss or not do damage. Darn it. Psychic. Do the craft. No, no, no. Hey, there we go. Special drop. I can't afford to switch. I don't want Jolteon taking unnecessary damage. What a furious battle. However, in an instance like this, it's also risky to not switch. Let's try double kick. Double kick. Yes! Jolteon's at full speed and is at almost full health. And no hindrances. Okay. We have a chance. We need to grasp this one with everything we got. There we go, paralysis. Nice beam. Come on, Jolteon. One more hit, please. One more hit. Make me proud. Yes! Finally! 
That one took about... Just under 15 minutes. There we go, we beat the Elite Four. That one was hard. So we received the key from the Elite Four and opened the gate to the upper floor. Where our rival once again can be found. So, let's try and win. What's his team this time? It's the same team, but just obviously like stronger. There's no real counter against this team. Like, you can't have a team of, say, electric types against, like, because Laura is obviously ice and water, so electric and fire, really, for example, but for this one, it's all mixed. Uh, we've got Jolteon and Moltres, Jolteon, and we're gonna go with Mr. Mime again. Yep, couldn't have put it better myself. So come on. Here's the first move. The bear hit. That was actually a pretty good hit. Thank you, Let's try and use Sky Attack. I know it's risky, but we've got to try something. Firebird on fire. What's that? Super effective. Oh, okay. No! No, 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 no. Maltrez, I knew it was rescue, but no. What's this? That one hurt. That one indeed hurt. Mr. Mime. Oh, it's Mr. Mime. Hmm. How will the type difference affect that? Psychic. What'll it do? And the weak spot. A critical hit. Okay. I planned on using Mr. Mime to shut down Clefable, but we shut it down in a different way. I meant shut down as in Lord the special stat. Oh, it's nine tails. Nine tails, okay. The Pokemon are entirely different. Nine tails might be faster. Might use dig. Mm, faster, yes. Dig, no. One hit. Really, one hit? Yeah, and we don't the even know where the last Pokemon is. is. What now? Oh, that's a miss. Aww. It's Sparrowed Underground. What a furious battle. Do what we did last time we saw a digging Pokemon. Trying toxic the hole with Doug. Oh! Best case scenario, we par we paralyze and it can't attack. Jolteon. I mean, I can't be mad because Jolteon did do really well up until now. It just means we're gonna have to cut till we win. I don't like constantly doing this, but, you know, we gotta finish the episode, so we gotta win! That was...
Okay. I will be... <laughs> this is me saying this again, but I'll be back when we have a winning battle. So I'll see you all shortly. Okay, we are back on our second attempt of the rival. Things didn't go the way I had hoped last time. Let's try this team actually. It's just Lapras instead of uh, Jolteon. We need a good special drop. That's not what I had in mind, but it still did damage. Okay. Come on, Mr. Mime. Special drop, please. That's what I like to hear. Which means now is the best time to use Moltres. Glad to see that we managed to pull that one off. Okay, at least we survived that one. It's not all bad. That one was a cri- Hey, nice! Okay, I'm liking this. Uh, what? You're faster? Moltres! What's going on? This is this is really weird actually. Pincel's faster. Moltres survives by one hit. I ain't complaining. We won. Oh thank goodness. We cleared round two! Gem Leader Castle! Yay! Now, if you remember, the last time you, we won a Kabuto, which sadly we can't send to blue, red, or yellow. But we have another Pokemon we win. I wonder if it will be. It could be Kabuto, Omastar, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, I think Eevee. Yes, Eevee, Bulbstar, Charmander, Squirtle. So I'm going to say Charmander. I don't think it can be Kabuto a second time unless we claim it already. Hey, it's Bulbasaur! If you had guessed Bulbasaur, congratulations, you win. Um, The chance to see Bulbasaur do its idle animation. <laughs> Sorry. But look at it this way. It's cute. Oh no, it's Hitmonlee we won. 
Bulbasaur. I want Bulbasaur. It makes no difference. We can't exactly keep them. All we can say is... It's uh, with us until we win again and can get another one. See, look, you can't even... You need a game to go into the lab for a start. And when you, but when you do go in... Uh, it will ask you if you want to transfer it. I think you can hold on to it. But yeah, maybe I'll make an episode, like a quick episode or something, showing off the N64 version. It's not like a lot, it'd be like just showing the gym, the Game Boy uh, Tower, the lab. That's pretty much it. And it'll be on the N64, so it won't be like this quality. But we'll see. I might, sh I might do an episode on that, I don't know. But anyways, that's us done. Next time, we are going back to the stadiums, the main driving force of the, the game really. And we're going to start off again with the Petite Cup. So that will do us today. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed, then please like the video, comment on the video and subscribe to the channel for more content. And also check out my... Twitter that I'm active on on a regular. It's the same name as the channel, Ned Cinderace. The link to that is on the channel itself. So thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.